Okay, so now I'm going to take a look at the accessories that are built into a computer running Windows 7. And I'm sure those of you who are thinking of purchasing one or upgrading are going to be interested to find out what's going to come with it. So if we take a look at accessories, we can see the list here. The first one is Bluetooth file transfer, where obviously you can transfer files between your computer and other Bluetooth devices. And um, this computer does not have Bluetooth built in, unfortunately, but you can always get an adapter which go for about twenty dollars and if you're thinking of purchasing one I would not recommend paying any more than that because you don't need to and um, below that of course is calculator, command prompt, connect to a projector and getting started all very basic always found in Microsoft Windows below that is the math input panel where you can type in any equation and you know, try to type in the quadratic equation and it's actually pretty accurate and if it does make a mistake you can just select the item you need to fix and change it to whatever it's supposed to be in some cases when it doesn't recognize it you can just erase it write it again and it still doesn't recognize it <laughs> okay there we go and can fix other things like this plus or minus and so other than that it looks like it got it pretty good except most of it's just my fault well and then you click insert go to your word processor and paste and it's there ready to insert into any document or file that you may be needing to write could be useful to people who need to write lab reports in chemistry or people who are writing papers for an algebra class anything really so going back to the accessories we see notepad paint um, all basic things remote desktop connection which lets you view screens of other computers on your network run and the snipping tool, sound recorder, and sticky notes. The snipping tool is a very nice application that I'm glad Windows added that lets you take screenshots. And it's very useful to me for my videos that I make. And um, the sound recorder is just the same. And sticky notes, you can leave little notes to yourself and change the color, whatever you want. And if you leave them here when you shut down, they will be back when you turn the system back on. Oops. And back to accessories. There is um, all other settings. Then there's WordPad, which is um, a very basic word processor. Then ease of access to help people with visual or um, hearing impairments, such as magnifier, narrator, and on-screen keyboard and Windows Speech Recognition I also like because it's very useful so I'll show you how that works so we'll turn it on open Microsoft Word one okay the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog period enter Jason is doing a review on Microsoft Windows 7, period. So you can see that it's actually pretty accurate. It's actually very accurate. And, um, but if you're going to be talking at a fast rate, I would recommend something like Dragon Natural Reader. And so that pretty much concludes all the applications you're going to find when you upgrade to Windows 7. Now I'm sure talking about games is very unimportant for this review, but I'm sure there's someone out there that wants to know, so we'll look at the games next. And built in are all the normal things that you see, all the card games, Free Cell, Hearts, Solitaire, and the only new ones really are Chess Titans and Mahjong Titans, and they are actually designed very well. So we'll look at Chess Titans for the example. 
and so it has a very nice three-dimensional look. You can even customize the look of the board and do pretty much everything. So um, it's a very nice program for people who find interest in it. I personally don't play any games that come with it, and I'm sure people who do want to play games would not play the ones built in, but still, um, it's included, so sure, why not? And that's what you're going to get. They have a very nice look to them, much improved, and you can now save your games, pick up at a later time, and you can choose from some to play online. And of course, you cannot have a Windows computer without Minesweeper. So, that's even enhanced a little bit, and I've never really understood how to play this, but that's okay. And, let's see. So, that pretty much covers them all. Purple Place might be a game that appeals to a younger female audience. <laughs> and, um, so, that should keep, um, younger children more, um, entertained. And that is pretty much all the games that come with it. Not really a big deal. If you're into games, then you're probably not going to, um play the ones that come with it, but still, that's what comes with it.